Good evening. Carrie and I are glad to be with you tonight. It's a wonderful day in Fort Smith, Arkansas, and I hope you've had a great day. Um, and it's a good time for us to be together this evening, early in the evening, to think about God. And I'd like for us to look tonight at Psalm 103, and we're going to be looking together at verses 1 through 5. So listen for the word of God. Let my whole being bless the Lord. Let everything inside me bless his holy name. Let my whole being bless the Lord and never forget all his good deeds. How God forgives all your sins, heals all your sickness, saves your life from the pit, crowns you with faithful love and compassion, and satisfies you with plenty of good things, so that your youth is made fresh like an eagle's. This is the word of God for the people of God. I want us to concentrate mainly tonight on... Um, the verse, to, uh, verse 2, let my whole being bless the Lord and never forget all his good deeds. As we continue to try to stay steady and stable uh, working in a time when the, the um, virus has taken so many lives now and it's anticipated that it will take so many more, uh, and at a time when our numbers are actually rising and uh, we've already... Um, we're kind of losing hope a little bit that this is ever really going to be over if we're honest with each other. And I'm pretty honest, so I'll put that out there for us tonight. So it could be very easy for us uh, to become discouraged, very easy. Uh, it probably wouldn't take much to push some of us a little bit over the edge. And I want us to try to step back from the edge. And that's what I feel like um, for those of us who call themselves Christ followers, I feel like that's one of our big roles during this time when we are uh, together and in a very difficult situation. Now, I know that you've heard that probably 39 times today also. And so where I would like for us to fix our focus tonight is on the good deeds that God has done for us. A lot of times what we uh, call these things, uh, it says in the scripture to remember the good deeds that God has done. And we say that so often in terms of count your blessings. And then if you think about the song, it's count your blessings, name them one by one. Some of us who uh, try to do those things as we're going to sleep at night, that's a good time to do that because you begin to name either the people in your family probably or uh, thanking God for getting you through some, uh, something that you had to do today or uh, thinking about a baby that's coming or thinking about um, children and, and how they've changed and how they've grown up or things that like uh, your friends have done for you recently that were quite unexpected and yet they put a smile on your face and they cheered you up, so to speak. Those are things that we know that we give God thanks for sort of all the time. And that's a good thing and that is counting our blessings. But there are so many things as we look at them when, when the scripture, when the Psalter is talking about uh, remember the good deeds that God has done. And he describes those for us in terms of uh, remembering things like uh, being that, that he has been faithful. Remember that God has been faithful to you. Remember the times that he has brought you through an illness or somebody that you love through an illness. Um, remember the ways in which he has forgiven your sins. You know, these things are are crucial for us as human beings to tr actually to truly live the abundant life. Before we ever get to, uh, and you can do it either way, but before we can ever truly get to those things that are one by one, we think about a God who is gracious and who is merciful to us and calls us to remember the good things that he has done, as I said, in terms of his faithfulness. Sometimes when we're laying there at night in bed and maybe we're count, uh, counting our blessings, we have nights, and, and if you're honest, you might admit this too, that we can't think of one good thing. You know, I'm mad at my husband, or I'm mad at my wife, or I'm mad at my kids, or something's happened and I'm mad at everybody at work. And that's when we go back and we say, God, I just, I just don't know of anything to be thankful for. And that's when we say, but I know about you. And I know who you are. Help me to remember the good things about you. 
the good things that you've done and, and these overall things that I wouldn't be making it without you. And so we began to say, thank you for your grace in my life. Thank you for the many times that you have shown me that favor, that unmerited favor that we live with, that you've loved me just because of not who I am, but because of who you are, that you have forgiven my sins and that you have told me over and over again, they are as separated as far as the East is from the West. I never have to remember those bad things or that I feel like that I've done. I never have to remember those things. You don't bring them up, God. I do. But you are a God of forgiveness. And I remember the good deeds of forgiveness that you have done and continue to do. Those two things, if you remember God's grace and you remember God's faithfulness in terms of forgiveness, those two are are great ways to start every night, to remember who God is and to remember that if we didn't have a way, if he hadn't given us a way in terms of forgiveness to cleanse ourselves, can you imagine how we would be walking around? And can you imagine our relationship with other people? We wouldn't have a way to forgive other people if it wasn't for God forgiving us. So tonight, as you begin to think about these things and you wind down, hopefully, for bed so that you can get a little rest, I hope that you will think about the many deeds that God has done, the ways in which he has given you life-changing sources, forgiveness, grace, his mercy, the, all the deeds that he's done, he's done for you. And he didn't just stop with the things that you remember, but there will be things in your future that God is already there doing, preparing for you. He's made provision for you. Our God is a good God. And whether it's in the past that we remember these good things or looking into our future and we say, I can't see anything good there, know that God's grace, God's mercy, God's forgiveness all of the good deeds that we are remembering in the past will be there for us in the future. We have no fear because we put our hands and our hearts in God and we trust that God will lead us on the right path and that we have much to look forward to. Not less, we have much. And when we come through this path that we're on now, there will be a way for us to glorify God and that will make our lives even brighter and the sun will shine brighter and the day will be better. We have a lot to look forward, a lot to look forward to. Never give up, never forget how much God loves you and never forget the good deeds that God has done for you and for your life. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen.